Welcome and warm welcome to High Tech Institution. Hi, you are very good afternoon to you. How are you? Yeah, good afternoon, sir. I'm good. Good. Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, nice. Like uh, we are meeting right now in a Zoom meeting as well for the interview. So it's good. Like you are. Where are you from? Yeah, I'm from Chennai, sir. Oh, Chennai. Good, good, good. Yeah. So which part of Chennai? Chennai is a very big place, right? Yeah, I'm coming from Velachery. Oh, Velachery. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's a part of uh, part of the city, I think. Yes. Velachery. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And good. So anyway, uh, we're going to start. the questioner right now so let's start with the first question okay in a real time scenario how would you handle the failed blueprint deployment in aws using a code deploy and alb uh yeah uh, if the green environment fails uh, health checks i immediately shift traffic back to the blue uh, environment using alb target groups and uh, i then uh, check logs in uh, cloudwatch and uh, code deploy and roll back the deployment and uh, fix any broken build or uh, configure in the green environment before test retesting oh good 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 answer okay yeah we move on to the next question that's fine you are yeah yeah good okay how did you implement using a code pipeline and a code build Yeah, firstly, uh, I used one centralized code pipeline and created parallel st uh, stages to deploy uh, to different regions. Uh, then uh, artifacts were uh, stored in S3 with cross-region replication, and uh, lambda function triggered a region-specific code uh, build, like uh, projects using custom scripts for uh, regional configuration. Great, great. We we'll move on to the next question, Yuva. Yeah. Okay. What was your strategy to handle a sudden ten x traffic spikes on a production application? Yeah, uh, I pre-warmed the auto scaling group by uh, temporarily increasing desired capacity. I also tuned uh, like scale in uh, cool down and used uh, predictive scaling. Catched a heavy DB queries with uh, elastic catchy and uh, offloaded static content uh, to. Cloud friend to uh, reduce easy to uh, load. Okay, good. Uh, we so we have very good answer as well. Appreciate it. So we move on to the next question. How do you manage a terraform state file conflicts in a team project? Yeah, we used to uh, we used remote state uh, backend in S three with uh, Dynamo DB logging. locking sorry uh, then enforced a uh, terraform plan uh, before apply uh, used uh, a, a environment specific workspaces and set up uh, uh, git pre commit hooks to prevent unauthorized changes to ft state good you are answering all the questions awesome we yeah. move on to the next question yes, your sir. container image in eks is flagged vulnerable how do you resolve this in a ci or cd pipeline uh i integrated amazon uh, inspector and ruby uh, in co code build uh, if critical issues are uh, detected during build the pipeline fails uh, then i uh, auto notify devs uh, via N sns uh, patch the base image rebuild and redeploy with rolling updates on uh, eks via hem very good very good fantastic move on to the next question how do you debug and fix aws lambda functions timing out in production i check logs in uh, cloudwatch and uh, x-ray traces uh, to find lat uh, latency uh, bottlenecks often the issue is in a uh, uh, vpc lambda waiting on audius and uh, i moved to a uh, provisionized uh, concurrency and uh, Uh, added VPC endpoints to cut down uh, cold start and uh, network latency. Awesome! You have a great knowledge in the process. Awesome. Let's move on to the next question. How did you implement a secret rotation for RDS without downtime? Uh, yeah, I used AWS uh, Secret Manager rotation uh, lambda and synchronized uh, it with a read replica. Uh, then uh, cut over the. Uh, 
new secret was handled by a uh, dynamic configure reload in the app then validated uh, with the pre deploy smoke testers uh, in a staging uh, environment good good job good job more on the next question explain how you implemented git ops in your eks projects uh, we used um, argo cd to sync kubernetes manifest from github to uh, eks every po to the main branch triggered a sync uh, and then i used uh, hem charts stored in an uh, artifact artifact uh, repo and added uh, orb ac policies for uh, fine grained uh, access control to different namespaces oh super super bands let me move on to the question uh, what did you do to reduce uh, aws devops pipeline cost in production yeah firstly uh, switch to uh, switch from uh, ec2 to uh, forget for builds and uh, used arm based uh, runners for code build to cut uh, 20 to 30 percentage of cost and uh, disable unused environments via uh, via uh, environments uh, variables and uh, schedule non critical workloads with uh, even rich const job good job great 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 answer for all the question let me move on to the next question you have deployed a broken container to eks how did you roll it back safely uh i used a uh, hem rollback command uh hem rollback uh, release name uh, revision and then uh, monitored uh, rollout status with uh, uh qubit uh, rollout status ensure previous uh, image version uh, was in er ecr and uh, validated with the smoke testers and uh, uh, Prom prometheus uh, alerts before uh, full rollback yeah awesome good so finally we come to the end of the uh, interviews and it was a great uh, privilege to be a part of you as well the way you answered all the questions tremendous and definitely uh, i do see that you did a wonderful job and uh, we move on to the next level and you. uh, yeah. you'll be joining as soon as possible to our company it's very sure. nice speaking with you uva have thank a fantastic you. weekend with a smile on your face okay thank you thank, thank you. you so much sir yeah bye bye bye, -bye.